Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. We all know the Tyrannosaurus Rex as the undisputed king of the dinosaurs, a predator that could hunt pretty much anything it wanted. But what if I told you there was one dinosaur so tough, so well defended, that even the mighty T-Rex thought twice before attacking? <laughs> That's right, today we're talking about the ultimate armored tank of the Cretaceous, the incredible Ankylosaurus. Let's dive in. During the reign of the dinosaurs, one predator stands above all others in our imagination, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It was the undisputed king, a massive carnivore that could take on almost anything. We found Triceratops bones and Edmontosaurus fossils with T-Rex bite marks, proving nothing was off the menu. Well, almost nothing. There's one dinosaur that lived alongside the T-Rex, yet we've never found a single specimen with T-Rex tooth marks. It seems even the king was hesitant to pick a fight with this creature, the one and only Ankylosaurus. When paleontologists in the early 1900s unearthed a bizarre collection of bones and bony plates in Montana's famous Hell Creek formation, they were stunned. What they had found was a walking fortress. The armor was so extensive, they named it Ankylosaurus, which means fused lizard. The specific species name, Magnaventris, means great belly, a nod to its incredibly wide, tank-like body. This thing was so unique it needed its own group, the Ankylosauria, a family of herbivores defined by their incredible bony armor, and Ankylosaurus was the biggest and baddest of them all. Adults could stretch up to 33 feet long and weighed a staggering 5 to 8 tons. That's heavier than a Triceratops, and puts it in the same weight class as giants like Spinosaurus. So why was it so heavy? Simple. It's armor. The Ankylosaurus was constructed like a living tank, covered head to tail in bony plates called osteoderms, embedded directly into its skin. Now, we haven't found a perfectly preserved suit of armor, so the exact layout is still a bit of a guess. But what we do know is that its armor was special. Unlike the thick, solid plates of its relatives, the osteoderms of Ankylosaurus were thinner and had a hollow underside. That might sound like a downgrade, but it actually made them stronger. The hollow, dome-like shape was incredibly resistant to crushing force, exactly the kind of force a T-Rex would deliver with its bone-shattering bite. Beneath this bony layer was another secret weapon, a crisscrossing mesh of thick collagen fibers. This biological chainmail helped distribute the force of an impact, absorb shock, and made the animal unbelievably tough. Studies suggest its armor might have even been strong enough to withstand small-caliber gunfire. This wasn't just armor, it was a fortress. And if the armor wasn't enough of a deterrent, Ankylosaurus had one of the most legendary weapons in the animal kingdom, its massive tail club. This club, also formed from fused osteoderms, could be nearly two feet wide and weigh over 50 pounds. Thanks to powerful tail muscles and stiffened tendons, it could swing this thing with terrifying speed and force. How much force? One study calculated a large individual could hit a target with over 20,000 newtons, more than enough to shatter bone. To put that in perspective, another test measured its impact at 4,800 newton seconds. A professional baseball player's swing is about 13. The Ankylosaurus swung with 370 times more power. A direct hit to a T-Rex's leg would have been catastrophic. But here's a fun debate among paleontologists. Who was this club actually for? We've never found a predator's fossil with clear club strike damage. Some recent discoveries of its relatives like Zool show injuries from other Zool clubs, suggesting they were used for fighting each other over territory or mates, much like how deer use their antlers. Still, most experts agree that if a T-Rex came knocking, the Ankylosaurus wouldn't hesitate to use its ultimate weapon for defense. It was a multi-tool for dominance and survival. While a full-grown adult was nearly invincible, Juveniles were a different story. Their armor and clubs weren't fully developed, making them vulnerable. They likely huddled together in groups for safety, but once they reached adulthood, they seemed to have become solitary wanderers. They didn't need a herd. Their personal defense system was more than enough. To fuel its massive body, an adult Ankylosaurus had to eat around 130 pounds of vegetation every single day, similar to a modern elephant. It used a narrow beak to strip leaves from low-growing ferns and shrubs. Its strange, leaf-shaped teeth were great for slicing, but the real magic happened in its gut. That great belly was essentially a giant fermentation vat. This process, called hindgut fermentation, 
used symbiotic bacteria to break down tough plant matter, a technique seen in modern rhinos. Since it wasn't winning any races, it probably moved no faster than a walking human, Ankylosaurus relied on other senses. Its eyesight wasn't great, but its sense of smell was phenomenal. Large olfactory bulbs in its brain meant it could easily sniff out the best plants to eat, or more importantly, detect a predator long before it got too close. This slow-moving, heavily-armed tank roamed the forested floodplains of what is now Western North America. It shared this world with famous dinosaurs like Triceratops, Edmontosaurus, and of course, the Tyrannosaurus rex. The ecosystem was incredibly rich, filled with other dinosaurs, pterosaurs, early mammals, and lush vegetation. Yet for all its success, Ankylosaurus fossils are surprisingly rare. They made up only about 1% of the dinosaur finds in Hell Creek. This rarity suggests they were solitary animals that didn't have large populations. In the end, its incredible defenses couldn't protect it from the sky. The asteroid impact that caused the KT extinction event wiped out the ecosystems it relied on. It seems the only thing in the world that could truly defeat this living fortress was a rock from outer space. And there you have it, the story of the unbelievable Ankylosaurus. What an absolute unit. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of dinosaurs, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And let me know in the comments below, what dinosaur do you want us to cover next? Most importantly, if you want more prehistoric content just like this, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss another video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.